Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest Old School. And on this episode, we are going to continue where we left off, and I am here with Doom. The Barbarian! Are you over here by yourself? Yeah, you sure are. I'm going to go ahead and toss you a heal. Now he's playing, uh, what level are you? I'm a level 11 warrior. And I'm... Love. Yeah, you're almost level 12, probably. And I'm playing uh, my, my level 11 shaman. Away. That's yeah. about the same as me. Now we are over in, uh, what zone are we actually in? This is in Western Karana. We are over here killing bandits for red sashes, hopefully. And we actually just got here. We were actually over in Blackboro a few minutes ago and we had a wipe due to just a, a really, uh, I won't say bad pool, but it was kind of a nasty one. A lot of mobs came with it and it was something that you don't really want to ever see. And so since we died, uh, I don't remember whose idea it was, but they decided that we should uh, head on over here and try out this zone. And I'm all for it. I love trying out new areas and, and seeing what the, the creatures drop and just getting a, a change of scenery. Because sometimes if you are in a zone for too long, uh, you just uh, start... He's in group. Send him a tell. No, no, he joined us. So we did get an enchanter. Nice. Uh, I believe at his level he probably should have Breeze. Right. Yeah, hit him up, dude. Hit him up. Oh, I'm sure he's going to cast on everybody. Want me to pull. The Enchanter wants to pull? That's, uh, that's a change. I mean, I understand he can stun and he can mez, but I don't normally see them offering to pull that often. Uh, they may uh, be up for it if somebody suggests it, but, you know, them actually, uh, you know, volunteering for it is very, very strange. Uh, so that means we have a pretty good one. That means uh, either he's... He's very brave, or he's very knowledgeable, or either he's neither of those, and he's brand new to the game and doesn't quite realize his limitations. But enchanters are one of those things, that one of those classes that you will learn your limitations rather quickly and very, very painfully <laughs> right off the bat. It does not take very long before you're just getting your butt kicked in every fight. Uh, if you've seen any of my videos over in Crushbone, you'll see that enchanters who don't know how to control their, their aggro with their stuns and their mezzes will die in a matter of seconds. It's not even funny. It's like a blink of an eye. If you're the healer, you're the cleric, uh, and you're trying to keep up with it, I don't know. I, I'm not paying attention to that right now. I'm actually just trying to keep everybody healed up. I'm only at 6% power right now. You guys are doing fairly well, but you are still taking pretty good hits, so... Um, it's good that we have two warriors. I mean, that doesn't happen very often. It's very rare that you even have one, but to have two of them in the group. And we have one of the uh, the pets tanking for our mage. He's doing a fairly decent job. He's down about 60% life on the pet. Let's see, is he going to survive? What's the bandit at? He's at 76, so no, probably won't survive unless I toss him a heal and you guys come over here to help out. Here we go. I'm going to toss him a heal regardless. It actually didn't seem to do that much to the pet. Like, his life stayed at what it was. I think he was just barely keeping up with the damage he was taking. And my meditation is constantly getting better and better and better. Although I still haven't gotten any uh, any clarity or breeze, so maybe he doesn't have that spell yet. I don't know what I would, level I would he ask is. him. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Well, I don't know. If he has that's, it, that's he knows better. Person. You know, he'll, he'll he know to cast it. He probably gets it at 14. He probably gets it at 14. Yeah, you're right. What level is he? Uh, probably around 10 or 11, I was thinking. Let me go ahead and check. No players match that. Oh, I'm getting my face kicked in. I don't know one of this guy's red. Nice. So I should heal you up then before you die. You're about to die. No. Nice. No. I only got 19%, so I can only give you like one or two more heals. So I would back up if I was you and let the other tank get the, the aggro if you can. We got it. Okay, I am out of power now, so definitely, definitely let him, uh, you know, tank the next couple ones. Yeah, <laughs> kill the bandit. <clears throat> the bandit has joined our party, kill him. Okay, so he is actually now using... No, no, that's our enchanter. Holy crap, the enchanter has a incoming button, and our tank doesn't. Neither one of our tanks actually have one. I do. Do you? Yeah, what is that? Ah, there you go. So at least one of our guys have one. 
I haven't it, been pulling. That's why I had, you haven't been seeing it. Yeah, I was going to say, it's it's kind of disconcerting when you're not expecting a mob to show up and all of a sudden you get like 15 out of the blue because your tank didn't uh, let you know that something was coming in, let alone let you know that like 15 mobs were coming in. Because there is... Sometimes you'll be sitting in a certain spot and he'll let you know that a mob isn't coming. Perfectly fine. But Literally, if he lets... I'm frozen. I'm frozen up. I'm going to have to relog. My, my comp is frozen. Oh, okay. Just go link to They know you're going to come back. Just uh, turn the power off. Uh, test manager. Actually, it, it's just the game that's frozen for some reason. Oh, okay. Only, yeah, it's, it's frozen. Uh, so just, I'll be able to get back in. Yeah, tell him I'll be back in in a minute. Just control alt delete out. It's usually the uh, the only. Mine actually did that the other uh, the other day when I was zoning. It froze in on zoning and. Yeah, mine does it about once a, once a day actually. Once uh, when I play it, it sometimes does it once a day at least. I don't know what changes they're making. I think they're making changes to uh, the pack of Velius so that it actually works when uh, they release it in August, whatever. But. Sweeter. Yeah. They're like, oh, are you coming back? Yeah, I'm oh, coming back. I thought back. I saw him doing it earlier. Not sure. Doing what? What's His the joiner score? party. Tell me if he backstabs. He is. Oh, no, they're asking if, if somebody backstabs. I don't know who would be backstabbing. We don't have anybody. Maybe his uh, his pet? Yeah, I currently have a. Uh, oh, yeah, the brigand might. Yeah, the brigand's a rogue. A rogue pet. So the, you need to tell the tank to, to maneuver him in a way where his brigand or his bandit can get a back set in on him. Yeah, but it's dead now, so. What's dead? The, oh, the bandit? Yeah. Or, well, he's about to be dead, but no, the I hate it. I hate it when enchanters uh, charm an enemy that we're killing. It just bothers me. I want to kill it when I'm playing a warrior. I want to kill it. I just want to kill it. Yeah, that's one thing you guys need to be aware of if you're an enchanter is, for me anyways, like if you're fighting over an unrest, and I've talked about this before, if you charm a mob that spawns in that room, then while he is charmed, he is not technically dead, which means another one will not spawn in his place until he is. So if you're going to charm a mob, spawn, uh, charm a mob that is not in the room or in the area that is considered yours. Char you know, charm it in somebody else's area, basically. So they will be down one mob as long as you have yours. It sucks and it's kind of unfair, but if you charm one in your, in your room, like in Unrest, when we were sitting over there in the, the main room and there's three guys who spawn over there, when you charm one of them, now there's only two that spawn every you know five or six minutes. That's not only less experience we get you know, from that one fight, but that's less experience we get from every fight afterwards because you have that guy up. And I've seen a lot of the time People will have their, their mob charmed when we don't even need it. And that's more experience we're losing out when you don't even want it. You know, like you don't need that extra DPS, so why are we losing out on that extra experience because of it? Let's pull a single. Boom. Yeah, you just got back, so you gotta send him a message. So we split the spawn timer and then we can pull. Yeah, and the warrior can pull at least go up here and loot these things if nobody else seems to want to. <laughs> oh, okay. Did you see that? See that? EverQuest just became a Disney movie? Yeah. Why? Because it's frozen. What's frozen? <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I didn't tell them that. They're, they're going to have no clue what you're talking about. Just because you don't watch Disney movies. I, tr I try not to. I try not to. I try not to watch kids' movies in general these days because they are so freaking depressing. Whatever happened to the kids' movies that were just funny? You know, like Cars was just funny or uh, what's that new one, uh, Home. That one was just funny. But then I watched uh, some of the other ones like, uh, uh, was that Deep S uh, Hero 6 or whatever? That one was depressing. And then that other one that I just watched about, uh, was it Inside Out? That one was depressing as well, and I'm like, holy crap, I missed the ones that were just funny and just, you know, I mean, a kid should have that, that point in his life where it is just all about humor and all about joy, because at some point, you know, he's going to realize certain things about life that just suck. So, why rush it? You know, like, I'm not going to rush that for a kid, and I don't like to watch kid movies 
that are overly depressing and overly trying to spell things out that are mainly for adults or at least if I can spare them that for a few more years then so be it, you know? But, you know, that's just my per personal preference. So I tend to watch, uh, you know, comedies and sci-fis and stuff like that, but if I have my nieces and nephews over, uh, you know, I definitely make sure that the cartoons that are on are, are as funny as possible. And I tend to actually gravitate more towards the older cartoons that I kind of grew up watching, like Speedy Gonzalez and Bugs Bunny and uh, what was the other guy's name? I haven't watched that cartoon in forever. I think it was like Banana Man uh, or Adam Ant. Adam Ant was good. Probably so I, just got, I just got passed by the parkour champions, dude. There's three people parkouring around town. <laughs> How weird is that? Are they pulling these things? <laughs> so what? Are they pulling these guys? Where did these guys come from? Are there two I different locations where they spawn? Yeah, the, the, the camp and then there's uh, a couple of spawn points over across the, the sides of the hill. Oh, nice. Sweet. So yeah, I guess uh, as long as your tanks are keeping up on what's around you, uh, you know, you can get a lot of kills over here. It's kind of creepy, though. You can hear, like, the noise in the background, other than, you know, the constant banging from the keyboard. But uh, just you can hear, like, the... The what? I just kill still you guys. Oh, you're not in the group yet? I, kill, I know, but I kill, that's what I'm saying. I kill still you guys. You let them know you're back? Yeah, I've been letting them know I'm back. Might have to send them a message and let them know. Although they should know that by now. These things don't really drop anything good. I did see one bronze item off of them, and that's kind of nice. This is a small box. I guess we can use that. Put that down, give us a little bit more space. Still no invite? Nope. Oh, they're saying let's reform. They better hurry. Tell them to hurry before I get this kill. Oh, it's too late. Yeah, I think we're going to disband here. Yeah, okay, we just banded. We got it. So whoever kills that last bandit gets the experience for it, man. Go for it. Or is it charmed? I think it's charmed. Man, it's so confusing when you go to a new area that you've never been in before with a group that's just uh, kind of doing their own thing and just expect you to know what's going on. So I do understand those people who don't get into groups very often because of that reason. You know, it's, it's very uh, hectic the very first uh, couple times you go to, and a lot of people will forget that. And I think we're going to go ahead and end the video here, guys, because, uh, yeah, 